Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Tech, and this is my full review of Cyanogen Mod 12.1 on Lenovo K3 Note. I have been using this ROM for four to five days, and surprisingly, it's performed very good. I'm not going to explain all options in this ROM, but I'm gonna highlight some pros and cons. First talk about looks and feels. It looks and feels almost about stock Google Android. As you see from the sample, it's very fluid and lax free and it is super fast. And there are seamless customizable options. If you have used Cyanogen, then you are well known about it. If you use it once, you cannot forget about other rooms. According to me, Cyanogen is the best room for hardcore users. I really like those rooms, those are highly customizable and user friendly. There are tons of themes available in the Play Store for free for Cyanogen OS only. Suppose you like Samsung's UI, you can download it from the Play Store and it is almost about Samsung UI, so that's great. Search in the Play Store by typing CM12.1 themes and you will get it. So. You can change your device as you want. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let's talk about some inbuilt apps. There are very few apps and not a single broad word present in this room. You just have some basic apps. If you need other apps, you have to download it. Let's talk about audio output. The default audio output is not that loud. You can customize it by inbuilt app that is audio FX. But I highly recommend you to use Dolby Atmos. You just have to flash Dolby Atmos zip file from your custom recovery. After that your device sound output will be great. Let's talk about camera and it's a very basic camera app. Not that much option for pro users but photo comes out to be decent enough. I recommend you to install a third party camera application. Let's talk about performance. I feel in performance department it beats the stock ROM Lenovo Vive UI by a huge margin. I didn't expect that much of performance from this ROM because it is a custom ROM. I played some heavy games like Asphalt 8, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and it ran buttery smoothly, no issue. And amazing thing is that it didn't hit up compared to what it was on Vive UI. That means it's very good optimized OS. In day-to-day -day usage, I didn't find any uh, overeating issues. I was wondering why this is not official. This should be official room for K3 Note. RAM management is far better than 5 UI. You can play around 6-7 apps easily and smoothly. Though free RAM is same as 5 UI, around 700 MB after installing lots of apps. It scores over 47,500 in Antutu benchmarks. So in performance department, really it is excellent. Let's talk about battery backup. And here maybe you think that I'm telling lie. Guys, I'm not paid from Cyanogen. I'm just giving you my honest review. Really, I am surprised. From 100 to 5 percent, I got almost 5 hours to five and a half hours of screen on time in my typical usage. Earlier I was getting three and a half hour to four hour of screen on time on Vive UI. So there is a huge improvement I would say. For first time I'm noticing a custom room is giving a huge battery backup. Really amazing. Also I feel that charging time is a bit less compared to what it was. So you are getting one hour to one and a half hour of more skin on time. That means battery boost up to 40% more. I'm really happy with the battery backup. And finally, your most awaited question is that, is there any bugs? Guys, believe or not. I have tried a lot to find bugs, but I can't. Even in my usage, I didn't get any force closing issue or app crashing issue. So that's it for this video. If you have any specific question regarding this ROM, do post them in the comment section below. I will try you to answer as soon as possible. I will soon post a review video of official Marshmallow upgrade. So stay tuned. 
with my channel by clicking the red subscribe button so yeah thank you guys for watching this video hope this is helpful if helpful then please do hit the like button to appreciate my work and check my other videos too also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and if you want to flash this sim 12.1 rom on your phone then i separately made a video on that so the link is in the description below check that out and all the installation procedure are there all the files are in the description so it's very simple just do that and you will get this wrong and thank you guys thank you for watching you guys have a great day